Hello there. Are you looking for finance related dashboard design inspiration? Then in this video, here I will show you five finance dashboard designs that will help in your next project. And if you want to learn how you can create such dashboards, which I'll show you in a minute, then you can join my advanced W dashboard training, which I take on every Sunday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. IST, where I show how we can create such stunning dashboards from scratch so that you get the design and inspiration ideas uh, for your next project with that let me go and show you these dashboards so here is my first finance dashboard which i really like as you can see the it is pretty bright and innovative use of colors to indicate uh, you know the positive negative or plus or minus right and down below the use of some icons right so this is something about net expenditure overview where the tiles have been given about reporting month year to date full year right and over here some information about what is this financial report uh, so that those who are looking at this information can easily understand it right so this is what full year is what this is what reporting month is and this is what you have year to date so first tile is covering high level information then down below you have the cost center performance you have these cost centers so there is this select cost center which you can click over here it will move back and forth into the cost center as you can see the new cost center has come and the new tile has come so this is pretty interesting if you will see you move up you click over here and the new cost center will come 1105 1104 here move moved here and 1103 is moved here so pretty interesting uh, information uh, with the help of these tiles and again you know this this basically shows some information about these metrics uh, what is gold silver and bronze really means what is these you know acronyms like rm ytd and all that so any beginner can also easily understand this also if you see over here the tile information is shown like three of six four of six five of six that means there is one more tile so 1106 then it will become 606 and then you won't be able to move any further right so this is something which is uh, present here this dashboard is created by Fuad Ahmed and uh, you, these dashboard link is present in the description so that way you can come here on this link or in on this dashboard easily if you really like the design you can play around with it also you can look at more dashboards that is created by Fuad Ahmed and uh, get more inspiration right so that is one dashboard the second dashboard I want to show you is the demo for wealth and banking so if you see this is the advisor performance dashboard how the advisors are doing and who is the current advisor is the name Alonzo Chessel and uh, that's the uh, ranking over here if you will see asset under management number of assets number of clients from that perspective uh, for example his ranking is number 23 when we talk about this metric number of clients right so these are some good high level information compared to the previous month with the trend then who are your uh, where where he is currently sitting right alonzo the 16 under asset management but then two above and sorry two below and two above uh, ranking is given sorry two above and two below when you move up into the ranking that means you are doing better so in case in this case if you see asset under management under alonzo is 5.1 million so 16th ranking but 15th ranking is because 5.2 million under christine right on so good information and key information like who is just above you and just you know below you right and same is for the rest of this uh, uh, matrix then over here the seventh metric average time spent some more sla completion overdue client in onboarding stages greater than 10 stage so top uh, top risk top at risk assets so top five that are remain in risk so these are like days in the pipeline so the more number in days that means less a chance that they will be converted also you can click over here and you can come and choose a different advisor maybe let's say this one for example and you will see the relevant information where 
hunt lay alt current is uh, present right and get this information so i really like because of the use of these different rankings and who is above and below to you uh, what are the risks that you have and stuff like that so if you are looking for or if you want to create such dashboard then you can take it inspiration from this and this dashboard is created by alan alan blackburn so this link is also present in the description and you can come over here and and view this dashboard play with it uh, and view more dashboards from alan now let's move on to the cryptocurrency another finance related stuff right so everybody loves crypt cryptocurrency because they have recently given a lot of uh, uh, return and made people millionaire but not to forget in some cases they they have given you the heart attack right because they have gone down so over here if you see you know why i really like it this is a very simple dashboard but if you see the design and uh, the various different cryptocurrencies so what you have in a nutshell is all these cryptocurrencies and then uh, what is their trend with the help of their volume right so when the volume is less, the the value is over here, uh, blue. So 201 million is basically the value. But when it has gone high, it is 2.838 billion uh, is the volume in this trading. So it shows, really shows a very high level information, how they have trended up, down, all these different types of currencies. And then, you know, giving you the volume in the background as to when the volume is high and when the volume is down. So, for example, if you see, as soon as volume is becoming high in case of EOS, the stock, this currency is going down every single time, right? So, shows you some sort of a trend as to what's, what's going on with these currencies. And in a nutshell, that is pretty much it, what's going on in this dashboard. Again, this is created by David. So you can come over here using the link which I'm giving you in the description and view this dashboard or more dashboard from depth. Now what I'm showing you is the annual report dashboard. So this is a demo, this is a demo dashboard for Daimler annual report 2018. I think Daimler is a public company. Uh, it's a car company and uh, these results are generally available. So what are the margin? What are the efficiency? Uh, what is a percentage of I don't know what is written over here but if you see if I click uh, sorry if I hover my mouse over to anything like gross profit so it shows over here where what the gross profit is and what the trend really looks like so uh, at, at a very high level again very uh, crisp and clear summary about dropping margin and shift towards R&D uh, is, is basically the headline which has been given over here key key KPIs and uh, consolidated statement over here, right? So that is something what is what is being given here. Again, this is created by a law clause, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but uh, this is created by clause and uh, you can come over here and interact with this dashboard like I'm interacting and uh, you can click over here and see this piece, right? So all of this information is basically uh, EBIT or EBT is the trend in their respective section. Also, it's correlating here as well as you can see it is getting highlighted. So, really like it how you are how it's been shown. Uh, then the final dashboard which I want to show you is the Boeing Commercial Market Outlook. So, at various different uh, places in the world or overall global market overview, how many deliveries is happening, percentage of GDP. Uh, traffic fleet and the market value right down below it's about the deliveries based on the regional jet single aisle white body freight freighter sorry freighters uh, what is the market value and then if you see it's in a form of the story so that means multiple dashboards are here so what is under global feet for global market overview what are the regional deliveries so again in regional deliveries you have europe south asia and whatnot to see it so this entire dashboard is basically or this entire you know the uh, overview for boeing company is the uh, combination of multiple dashboard as you can see the regional fleet regional deliveries again you can select it from here passenger traffic overflow the sort of um, ranking which is being given here 
then passenger traffic growth, uh, air cargo outlook, all of this various different sections that is being created. This is like a very high level uh, management executive summary from various angles that they want to see. So something I really like it. A lot of effort must have gone into creating this as you can see. This all is a one dashboard which they have put it in a story and that's why you are able to see all of these multiple dashboards as part of the one single screen. So these are the five different dashboards I wanted to show you and uh, in my training I cover such dashboards where how you can create it from the scratch and, uh, and impress your audience whether you are giving working on a or creating a project for interview or for your business or for your office or department for anything right so if you have an interest in this area i have a training for you with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic